Hello there, it's me, Rama, and I'm introducing the Asset Batch Edit plugin. This is a collaborative effort between myself and Cameron Angus. And Cameron actually did all the coding. I actually made the request and sort of the design doc and the features that I wanted, and he did the coding. So, and I did the artwork. <laughs> so this is uh, a tool that is designed for use in the editor. It's not part of the package game. I realized I needed it when I wanted to do mass editing of static meshes and also mainly materials. So my very first use case that I'm going to show you is when you have a bunch of static meshes that you want to edit. So here's meshes. So anywhere you are in your content browser, you just right click in UE4 and you see there's this new option. I did the artwork, look! And then batch edit assets, right? And now you have two options. There's blueprints, and then there's asset types. So we're going to go under asset types. The only thing in this subfolder is static meshes. So I'm going to click on that. And now you can see all the static meshes have shown up. But notice it's not any of the ones in the subfolders, right? Of which there's a lot, right? So now you're going to see the async loading. So watch this. I'm going to say recursive folder within meshes. And now, well, actually, they all loaded instantly, I guess, because they're all on this level. So now I have this ton of assets here, right? going to make this taller. For you, the view will be even bigger, because you probably use a higher screen resolution than I do. So, all, uh, so 174 assets you see here, right? Now, again, any property of a static mesh you can now edit. Now the one that I found to be the most valuable is when I wanted to change collision complexity all at once. So currently all of these are under project default and I'm going to change them to use complex as simple. So I've just changed 174 static meshes all at once. That's the power of this plugin. You can mass edit. So again, if you get like 50 art assets from a uh, artist and you need to do certain settings that you always do, you can do it really quickly. Now notice they haven't actually been saved yet, they've just been highlighted for saving. So when you're ready then you just click save all and then th that'll actually go into effect. Um, and again, any of these other options as well, even if you want to set a pointer, like a, you know, here, a physical material, you might want to change the physical material of a whole set of assets all at once. And with this system, you can do that. So that is static meshes. Now let's head over to a material use case. So we're going to say batch edit these. I'm going to close this other one. And I want to say material. Here was my other primary use case, which was that I had a bunch. Oh, here's async loading. See how it's loading them at the bottom here? So, you know, you can still move around in the editor while that's happening. Of course, it doesn't actually take that long. But um, I'm now able to edit a bunch of materials all at once. So, my personal favorite is, for example, used with um, spline meshes, is a good one. But, you know, when you're working on a large-scale project and you're a project manager or you're you're doing this on your own or with a small team and you or really any size and you realize oh my god I need to edit f the 50 assets at once all these materials have to work with instant static meshes opening and closing the UE4 material editor 50 times really slows you down it was slowing me down to the point that I requested this plugin be created by uh, Cameron and here it is it works so you use with since static meshes, you want to edit um, 61 assets at once, done. Of course, it's now asked to load them all. But the point is that you now, I've just saved myself. For me, it was taking me at least an hour to flip through all, if I had to do all these assets at once, it would take a really long time. But I've now effectively made 61 materials work with instant static meshes. And of course now they're compiling shaders. So that's the material case. Now the other thing I want to show actually is uh, that if you are, let's say you're in this view and you are flipping between, I think I'm going to turn recursive folders off. I'm going to show this with meshes. So I wanted to show that, so I'm going to select static mesh. Now if I go into a subfolder, see how this view updated as I went into the subfolder. So I'm going to go into city now, 
See how it emptied, because there's nothing in that folder, and now it lit up again, right? Or there's more stuff in there. Vista, physical meshes, there's nothing there. Uh, and in the main meshes, there's only a few. So you can actually, you have two options. You can choose to do recursive, which will show everything all at once. And I had it turn, I requested it turn pink to let you know you're recursive. Here's non-recursive. Or you can also flip through, and it live updates with each folder that you're in. So you have that you have the option of how you want to navigate. Now, the other key use case is blueprints. And a primary case is if you have blueprints that you're subclassing. So we're going to switch from asset mode into blueprint mode. You just toggle between them like this. Now here we're in blueprint mode now. Now if you look here, you see that there's these are now the different blueprint options. Now I'm going to go with Shooter Weapon, which is a C++ base class. There are two blueprints that implement this C++ base class. Now notice I now have all the variables that are part of the blueprints and or the C++ base class. So muzzle effect, I could set muzzle effect on both. Of course they're different because they're different weapons. But things like ammo, here's the ammo count. Now think about, even just for quick project overview, let's say you've got 13 weapons in a more realistic game, and you just want to quickly scan over what are the default weapon counts for the power-ups for these. You can just l go use this tool, the Asset Batch Edit plugin, and you can quickly see, oh yeah, that one's 10, let's change that one to 9. So it's actually a kind of an overview of the project as well. So if you've got a lot of blueprints, you know, this is actually a great way to subclassing blueprints of items or AI unit types or something like that. This is a great way to either batch edit them or view them quickly. Now, there are also options of how you can control this plugin. And if you, so if you're under project settings and you scroll down to plugins, it's all the way at the bottom, go to asset batch edit, you can change the colors if you think my color choices are too fancy. You can also choose to include UMG widgets in your blueprints or animation blueprints as well. And also how many assets do you want to load at once before you get a message, hey, this is, might take a while. So that is the gist of this plugin. I find it extremely handy for quickly editing lots of stuff. It, it, uh, it literally makes my life so much easier because I'm constantly getting content from artists. I'm like, oh my god, there's so many s systematic things I need to do every time. This makes it really easy. So there you have it. The Asset Batch Edit plugin with this nice friendly icon made by me. <laughs> oh, have fun today. Enjoy. <laughs>